As a business owner, I love the potential that short form video has for my business, but making one TikTok or reel takes so much time. Multiple takes, sweating through my shirt, glitchy text, disappearing drafts. I was almost ready to give up on it all until I discovered how I could make a dozen reels in one week. I basically cloned myself. And here's how you can do the same. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can start your own Reels creation process that lets you produce content almost as if there were two of you. First, let's cover how people typically make short form videos, whether that's TikTok or Reels, and it's this. Typically, it's done one at a time, meaning I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna look at my phone, look for ideas, I'm going to find an idea, I'm gonna film it, I'm gonna edit it, then I'm going to write a caption and publish it all in one go. That's the usual way, right? And I would guess that the average amount of time it takes to do that is probably 60 minutes. For some people, maybe even two hours. And for a business owner who's working six to eight hours in that day, Two hours is too much time. I'm speaking from experience here. I don't have time to spend two hours every day making a reel from scratch. So instead of getting frustrated with the amount of time that video production can take for a business owner, I've since created a process that I follow, and it's this. Ideation, creation, editing, scheduling, and posting. There's no cool acronym for it other than we could say ICE, SP, maybe? That's not very creative. So this is the flow. This is the process that I use in my business so that I can actually make not just one reel at a time, but even 10 at a time. Now, if we step back and think, whoa, how do you manage 10 reels being produced at the same time? Well, I don't keep it all in my head. I actually use a tool to keep this whole system flowing and so that I can know at any given moment where every video is in the production process. I use a tool called Asana, it's free, but you could also use a tool like Trello or Airtable. Let me take you into my Asana so I can show you what this all looks like. Here we are inside of my Asana project, which we call Instagram production. So this is where I look when I need to know where we're at with our video production. The very first column I want you to notice, it's called ideas for review. So this is where my team and I will drop in ideas that we come across on TikTok or Reels and we'll drop them here for review. Now inside of each card, there's more information about how the idea can be adapted to my niche. So we make sure to fill that in. Then once I've reviewed the idea and it's approved, I'm gonna move it to the to create column. So whenever I am ready to film my reels about once a week, here is where I'm gonna find all the ideas that I've already reviewed and they're ready for filming. So you can see there is a lot there. And again, inside of each card, the idea has already been adapted to my niche. Once it's filmed, it's gonna to move to the next column, which is the to edit column. So you can see here, I've just dropped it over here. And you can see that I've got a couple that I've already filmed. They just need to be edited. And once that's done, once I've edited these TikTok or Reels on my phone, I'm still gonna go ahead and move the card over into the next column so that my team and I know which ones are done and ready to be posted. So this phase, which is called to schedule or post, also is the phase where I go ahead and write a caption for the Reel or TikTok or my team member does. So again, we do that all inside of this card right here. We'll fill in the details. Once the caption is written, once it's ready to go, we'll give it a date of when we wanna publish it. So maybe we wanna publish it February 10th. Once I've gone ahead and published this on the date that it's scheduled for, I'm gonna move it to the last column, which is scheduled or posted. And then I'm going to check it off to show that this video is done. Now I have a record of everything that we have posted in the past and the process that every single video has gone through. So that is the system that we use for our Instagram production. So what's my big secret here? How do I ultimately produce content as if there were two of me? Well, first, let me share with you an analogy. Do you like cookies? Every now and then I get a craving for a cookie. In fact, I could use a chocolate chip cookie right about now. So if I were to go back into my kitchen and start to make a cookie, what I would do is find the ingredients and measure out the ingredients to make a dozen cookies at one time. Even though I'm craving just one cookie, I'm not gonna just take a 
tablespoon of flour and a smidgen of butter and make a tiny little batch of cookies. No, I am going to get a cup of flour and half a cup of butter, and I'm going to make the dough for a dozen cookies. So if you followed my analogy here, my secret or the way that I clone myself is a term called batching. To drive the cookie analogy home, again, I'm not just gonna make one cookie, I am gonna make a dozen or a batch of cookies at one time. This is the definition of efficiency. Imagine how much longer it would take if I had to make a tiny bowl of dough for 12 cookies one at a time. Mm -mm. So batching is the key to making a dozen videos at one time. You are gonna break up the process into phases. So for example, I'm gonna look for 10 video ideas at one time. Another time, I'm going to film them. A different time, I'm gonna edit them. That essentially is batching when it comes to your video production process. You're probably familiar with the concept of batching already, but actually bringing it into your business and doing it in practice can have an amazing effect. Just look at some of these examples of the results business owners like yourself have gotten as a result of batch creating their reels. Now that you've got the batching process down, or at least the concept of it, go ahead and watch this next video right here where I'm gonna show you how to generate endless ideas for your videos that make your audience sit on the edge of their seats waiting for your next video to drop.